Hi, everybody. So I'm Chris Haskell. I am a proud Portland native who is transplanted to, of all places, Boise State University. I teach teachers. Um, I'm a, a researcher and a gamer. And I think that we should blow up the grade book. It's about time. So school, as we know it, will change more in the next 10 years than it has in the last 100. I mean, the internet, mobile devices, and uh, even video games will play as much of a part in the next century as textbooks and blackboards have played in the last. I mean, let's face it, all classes are a game. We try to figure out what it takes to win from the moment we walk in. The way we prepare, interact, attend, and even talk with the teacher is built on the assumptions that we make about the winning condition. This hidden game can often derail student learning. It creates problems. Now, savvy teachers try to slant it in favor of learning, but all students ask the natural question, what do I need to do to get the grade that I want, rather than what's worth knowing or doing? It's this game that keeps students guessing. We deliver a quiz to force students to uh, study. We, we punish them when they make mistakes. Um, and we tell them that this is because of we want to teach them responsibility, but all we do is teach them to fail. We, gradually chip away at their success with B's, C's, and D's until it's mathematically impossible for them to be successful. It's the stupidest game I can think of, and the students hate to play it. But the good news is we can change the game, and here's how. We need to eliminate homework. We need to get rid of due dates. We need to give students choice, and we need to let them play. The information age has rebuilt the world, and it needs to rebuild school. So because of technology, we can learn whatever we want, whenever we want. We just need teachers to get credit. So I believe the role of the new teacher is to loosen the restrictions on how students learn and apply the context to what they learn. You see, homework assumes that everyone's out of school time is the same, but it's not. Uh, homework does a better job of telling us which parents are involved and which students are either overloaded or unmotivated. The due dates. Um, assume that almost the same thing, that the aligned space and time is just right for the activity. But you and I both know that if given a week, we'll take a week. It's not laziness, it's triage. And our students are just as good at it as we are. We also know that intelligence is uh, situational, right? Schema created in each of us decides how we're going to react in a certain situation. And smart and dumb have a lot more to, to do with what we know uh, in a certain environment than anything else. So we've used these understandings to make a new, different school approach. And it's one that's fair and equitable, regardless of your schema. We make class a game with lots of interesting choices and lots of ways to win. At Boise State, we developed a game engine for learning. Simply, you gain experience points, uh, rank, you complete quests and missions, you get badges and achievements for learning and doing. In this approach, students make their own interesting choices through a broad selection of curriculum tied to standards. They choose the what and how, and we as teachers apply the meaning to that. Choice is the paradigm changer. That's the key. It really is. We're moving from a completely dictated curriculum, like the one that you and I uh, were engaged in, to one built on choice, where the teacher creates filters or finds the activities, and the students choose them based on their own schema. And this approach uses short and long-term goals like rank. It allows students to level up and get access to new curriculum. It tracks what they know and can do with badges and achievements. In two years of research, thousands of students have participated in this approach with fabulous results. It's really exciting to see. 97 students alone in one class earned over 1,000 different badges and achievements, not because they were required, but because they were available. 93% of our students are getting A's or A pluses. No B's, no C's, no D's. Why? Because the winning condition is always within reach, just like a game. We should build school for them, not against them. So the industrial age has its factory rows, its ringing bells, and its grade books. And those tools no longer work. The information age has better tools. And we can save our schools by using them.
We just need to be willing to put those tools in the students' hands and let them play. Thank you very much.